It's no secret that crypto markets are very volatile and the sheer amount of market data can be very overwhelming. That's why a lot of traders revert to technical analysis. But you can go a step further. You can convert the technical analysis into trading strategies. These strategies are suggestions on where to buy and sell or when to simply hold your coins. These strategies make it easier for you to determine when to enter the market. But what if you don't have time to watch these strategies play out and you want to convert a strategy into a signal that can be automatically bought and sold? This is where the all trading trading bots come into play with the webhook functionality. It allows you to configure your own signals and you can simply send them to all tradies to execute your trades on your behalf. This makes it even easier to enter the markets during the times that you're not able to sit behind your computer. In this video, I will show you how to set up these signals by using a TradingView webhook and a signal bot from all trading to automatically execute your trades. I will show you how to select the best strategy for your trading and then how you can configure that to send the signals to all trading. If you're new here, then don't forget to click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel to learn more about the all trading trading platform. To start with a strategy, you first need to find one. If we go over to trading view, you can go to the indicators part and you can click on technicals. Then you can select the strategies and you can select any of these strategies that are built into trading view. In this video, we will be looking at the super trend strategy. Now, if we click on the super trend strategy, then you see that the strategy tester opens and you can see where the buys and the sells would be. If you change the time frame, then the strategies will be different. You will have more or less signals and they will also be less or more profitable. So playing around with the strategy tester and the resolutions is key to making sure that the strategy that you've chosen fits with the current time frame and the market that you're interested in. So now that we have identified the strategy, how do we go from this? So we can go down here to the super trend strategy and we can say add alert. As you can see now, there will be a new model to create an alert based on the super trend strategy. And it's already pre-filled in with some messaging. Now if we go over to the notifications tab, and you can send an email to yourself for the notification or you can specify the webhook URL. Now this is already pre-filled in with the API webhook for the all trading part. So all we need to do is make sure that we set the correct message. In order to do that, we have to go to the all trading terminal. In the all trading trading terminal, you can go over to the bot section and then you can click on create bot. This will set up a new bot for you in all trading and you can select webhook from the list. Then you simply select your account. In this case, I will be using a Binance demo account and you can select the currency. Well, as we were trading on the BTC USDT market, I will have to select USDT from here and the bot will already have a name. Now you can see the API key settings, which is what we would need. So you need to copy these to a different location because we will need them to construct the message that we entered in TradingView. We can also specify how many concurrent positions we want. Well, as we're only working with one market and one signal, then the defaults with one and one would be enough. We also don't need to change any of these settings for this specific strategy, but if you want to learn more about what settings to choose, then make sure to check out the bot videos from the Altrady channel. On the entry settings, we have to specify how much we want to use. So in this case, I will be using a fixed amount of $1,000. The other settings in this case, I don't need to change. So now I can hit the save button and you will be shown the API keys one more time. So now that the bot is created, we can see the overview and we can go back to the settings. Now, the API key settings have now been hidden. So if you didn't write them down, you can click on the reset button to create them again. In order to understand what we need to send to TradingView, we have to go over to the documentation for the webhooks. So when we click that, we go over to the documentation for the webhook settings. And in this case, we would need the signal bot positions. This page describes exactly what the message should contain and how you can use different actions to to perform different things with your positions. And if you go down here, you can actually test the messages that you're going to send. So in this case, we will prepare a message that we will be sending to TradingView. So this is the message that I've prepared for now. I've set the test flag to true, then I've entered my API key in secret. The action is an open signal and the exchange will be Binance. Uh, so this is the code for that. Then the site will be long because we'll be going long. The order type will be with a market and the symbol will be uh, BINA USDT BTC. Now if we want to test out this position, all we have to do is simply click on try it out. And if we scroll down, we can see that the bot position is now created. If we go over to the overview, you can see that the position has been created 
And if we go over to the terminal, you will see that it's now a pending position. So it's not actually placed because the test flag was true. And then we can cancel this order and cancel the position now that we know that it's working. As we have tested our message right now, we can go over to trading view and copy the settings from here. This is now what we need to change for the message. So as you can see, I've just copied and pasted over into the form and then I can click create. If we go over to the alert section, we can see that now the test flag is true and it will open a position anytime that this alert triggers, but we're not there yet. In order to make sure that the position actually opens and closes, we need to make small adjustments to the message. For that, this strategy, we have to edit it slightly. We can go over to the super turn strategy right here and click on the source code. Then TradingView requires you to make a working copy and then we can change it. So for this specific strategy, I want to make sure that we open when the direction is below zero and I want to close it when the direction is above zero. So I would need to remove the short part and I would need to say close all. And then I need to change the message to close. In order to enter, I would need to set the alert message to open and then hit save. Now that we've saved it, the PineScript alerts will automatically send an open or close action into the alert message part. And this is what we need to send to all tradie as well. So if we go over to the edit part, now we can change this. So we need to replace the open part. For this, TradingView allows you to set the strategy.order.alert message, which is what we've spe specified down here. And this will replace the action with an open or a close depending on what it should do. And then if we hit save, the alert is finished. And anytime that we now get an open or a close signal, then the bot will act accordingly. It will open a new position or close the previous open one. Use the alert message that we've set right here with the open and close. We need to click on the edit alert. And then we need to change the action part with the correct value. And in this case, that would be strategy.order.alert message. And you need to add the two brackets surrounding on each slide. We also need to remove the test flag from false if we're comfortable with this setup and then we can actually start accepting the signals. Then we hit save and now the alert is set. And each time this alert is triggered with an open or a close command, the bot will execute the order immediately. So it will open a position when a new open action is received or it will close it when the close action is received. And when your bot is running for a few days, you will see the close positions right here and we currently don't have any open positions. You can also see what the profit and loss would be for each position and you have further analytics to show you exactly how it works. Well, as with all trading strategies, if you just start out, it's very possible that your realized profit would be in a loss for the beginning. This is what we call the drawdown and we need to make sure that we stay inside this strategy and actually allow it to become profitable. A key part in trading is to understand that sometimes you do have losses, but this super trend strategy will automatically close it when the trend reverses to minimize your losses. It will not stay inside the position if the price continues to move down. It will only open up a new position when the trend reverses. You can also click on one of the positions to see more details about it. In the trading terminal, you can see exactly where it bought and sold. So you can see here, it has a buy and a sell, a buy and a sell, a buy and a sell. And if it would open up a new position, then you would see a new buy arrow on the chart. And you can also see exactly what the profit and loss would be for this position. This will give you full control over the exact signals that come in and allow you to make adjustments where needed. Now we don't recommend to change anything during a strategy, so you would have to pause it first. If you want to learn more about bot trading, then make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel.